trophy hunters, poachers, whalers, serial killers, they are all the same, the same kind of arrogant mindset, the same kind of arrogant might and make a right mindset. The self-entitlement, the self important position of their filthiness, mind. Just like with serial killers, how sometimes are known to take parts, trophies of their victims with them so they can think back on the hunting trip like hunters also try to do and like to do when they shoot primarily male deer because they're getting bigger and more beautiful trophy that they can put down on their wall that's the reason they shoot majority of the time males so they can hold their filthy business in place. Let me be honest. Japanese, Icelanders, etc. They don't kill whales for survival. They don't kill whales for science. They kill whales for supremacy oil one high heat resistant oil that is used and was in the time of the 20th century a lot of time used in machineries like rockets and uh, nuclear weapons because of their uh, high heat resistance qualities sadly and criminally the sperm wheel have still the filthy name of the whalers. When, if you ask me, some creature should not to have a name that is made up by his murderer. A far better name for the sperm wall file is the Leviathan, for example. There are also the whalers also take trophies from uh, the whales. In form of the oil, for example, and the teas of this of this very important, very smart, complex organisms are very important for the ecosystem of the earth. Just like uh, poachers also take the tusks of the rhino horns and the elephants with them and sell them for high prices on the black market. Just like the filthiest bastards who kill um, seals and sell their skin as trophies and take them as trophies and sell them after that. They are no better, no different then Jeffrey Dahmer, who takes sometimes the head of his victims with them um, and sometimes drown them or other psychopaths like that. It taking a sick kind of person, a psychopath kind of person to find pleasure in torturing, murdering and exploitation of other living beings. If you ask me, no compassion and soul thinks that is acceptable. When people are treated like the other animals are treated, anybody screams Al-Qaeda, ISIS, murder, bloody murder, monster, but yet, according to the mindset of the hunter, Animals are things 
how deserve to be killed. This mindset is totally without rational thought or any kindness. It is, quite frankly, sociopathic behavior. Step out of your anthropocentric mindset and step into the reality. You are not important just because you belong to the hominid species or so like I have to call them or you the homo ridiculous or the homo insania. There are far more important species than we. We are just passengers like Paul Watson explained in some of his speeches about environmentalism. The whales, the bees, the phytoplankton are far more important than we are. We are just sick house guests. I refuse to leave the party. Can we not try to live in harmony with this world? Is tent of acting like viruses, exploiting anything around us for greed, selfishness, arrogance? If you are not a victim, don't imagine it entirely from your point of view. Because if you are not a victim, it becomes pretty easy to mock your victims, make fun of their entire existence, label them stupid and dirty, like Nazis, like serial killers, like Le Jeffrey Dahmer, and Hitler, and Josef Mengele, like Idam Al-Nin, cannibalistic uh, mass murderer, dictator of Africa. When come the day that we learn from our mistakes? When come the day that we look things from the victim's point of view and try to cause the least amount of harm possible on this planet instead of be a little obnoxious little puppets who don't look around him and say, oh, I am important just because I want to. What a sick, ridiculous puppet we are. Honestly, what a sick, ridiculous puppet we are. Dancing, fucking, not caring about the world. Not knowing we are nothing. We are not what was intended. We are just a bunch of viruses in ape form. In naked ape form. That's how we act. And if you don't want to be a virus because of virus, prove to me that you're not a, being a virus. Try to limit it, the suffering you cause to other living beings as much as possible. And therefore, you must be vegan. And also, uh, in, to some extent, um, agree with the... mindset or the philosophy of antinatalism, population control, because we have far too much of our species walking around on this planet, far too much ecological and morally bankrupt insane primates. I'm not rude, I'm not arrogant, I'm just real. I am not a politician. Politicians do not make this world a better place. It is always small groups of people who must convince the masses that the masses are totally morally bankrupt. Like, like um, with uh, Malcolm X, time of Malcolm X, civil rights movement. Civil jet movement. The victim is nothing to defend, nothing more than the next victim. The victims are interchangeable. Serial killers make easy, ruthless, psychopathic murderers. Hunters make easy, ruthless, psychopathic killers of 
your own species. It is the gateway to causing unnecessary harm to other living beings. Again, take sides. Neutrality helps the oppressor, not once the oppressed. Silence incurs the tormentor, not once the tormented. The apathy of the people is sometimes enough to hasten the resurrection of the dead. Let all the enemies of the non hominids animal tremble. Let all their apologists tremble. Let all the carnage tremble. As long as there is one animal exploited, tortured and raped by our species. I will say the curse of Terra and Mea will not be lived. We will not have peace as long as we, our species, the Homo Insenia, is torturing other living beings. For no justifiable reason. As my teacher, Pythagoras of Samos, once have said, as long as man will be the it's destroyer of other living beings. He will not find love or peace. Indeed, who say to so the sage of see of hate and that will not find love or peace. Man claims to be the noble animal. The species Homo ridiculous claims to know right from wrong. But when come the day that are proof of the excellent. Stop playing lip service. Stop infuriating the victims. What do your words make for difference? Absolute nothing to the victims. Your praise to Syria or another place, that don't change their lives. You saying that you want that animal agriculture uh, stops, but you still eating animal products. Just make the world not a better place. Stop playing lip service. Go vegan. Make a plea for what you have learned. Make your excuse. Make a plea. Go vegan. And help to stop world hunger, help to stop uh, all the climate problems on this planet. Do something for change instead of being a person without firewood. But the only person who live for success 